I lost continence and I just thought, this is what a dead guy does. This is really uh, serious and became fairly alarmed at uh, what my prognosis was. Wow. And, and yet, uh, and it took a while for you actually to regain that consciousness. And I did. When, you, when you did, what, it, what was that like? What happened, uh, I went downtown and was at Northwestern Memorial in, in the ICU, underwent three brain surgeries where the issue was brain swelling, which would create such a pressure on the lower brain stem and could be fatal. My doctor said without the uh, procedure, I would have been dead in, within three days. Wow. And uh, I do remember waking up in the ICU not exactly knowing where I was. Mm -hmm. Probably it was a pharmacological event. Yeah. I think there was a lot of that in my system. Mm -hmm. uh, I read in the Daily Herald today about angels. You did? Right. Did you feel as if there were angels there? I did. I felt like there were three angels in the room. And interestingly, they had New York accents. Probably because the last movie I'd seen was on Channel 11, was the original Ocean's Eleven, the Brat Pack movie. And uh, so, you know, they, I, I sort of thought they were there in the ICU. They probably have a regular gig there <laughs> because of the issues. Right, right. And yet you said, no, not yet. Yeah, and they said, uh, Mark, you, you want to come with us? You know, he can come, you, can, you can come with us if you want. Complete New York accent. Isn't that crazy? You know, the way they introduced themselves, they said, uh, Mark, uh, we're, we're angels, who weren't really angels uh, down here. Wow. And establish that simpatico thing. You want to come with us? I said, no, I'll hold off. I'll hold off, yeah. So luckily for me, there was no white light and no tunnel. Wow. And yet, None and of then, that. and in this whole year, mm -hmm. you went from, you know, learning to walk again, really. Right. What has that been like? I actually had a breakthrough, which happens only rarely in rehab. Uh, I had an inspirational uh, physical therapist who works at the RIC. His name is Michael Klanowski, and uh, he would never let me uh, alone. There were many times when I would beg him to just leave me alone, too tired, and he retaught me how to walk, which I now can't walk enough. and. Uh, these days with our dog, Sophie, I patrol the, uh, the uh, corridor of the building that I'm living in. Wow. And Sophie and I make sure it's safe from communism. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about uh, the, the kind of medical care you received. There are some who say, wow, because being a U.S. Senator, it has been so wonderful for you. It, wh what, do you what do you say to that? What I saw in the RIC was a difference between patients that weren't really trying hard. What I could see is if you really try hard and just treat what your physical therapist says as if it was the revealed word of God and just keep going and never, ever get up. So I thought there would be a chance for me to be a leader for Illinois and uh, show anyone who has to survive a stroke in the state that you really can bite your way back. 